everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with a double duty video. It is your Scrapper Stash Saturday and also uh, it, I'm using my Hip Kit Club kit from December. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it so right before this video or right after there will be my, um, my haul from the December kit. And I'm just showing you some of the pattern papers that I'm going to use and they're all from the Crate Paper Shine Collection. And I'm going to use this um, striped paper as the background. And right away, I know I want to mount it on some black cardstock, or actually, it's like a dark gray, and that came in the cardstock add on. And so, I'm going to cut down my pattern paper to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. And I'm going to mount my photo in the center of that gray pattern or gray cardstock so that I don't have to use, you know, a new fresh piece of cardstock. I'm just going to roughly cut through it with my X-Acto knife. Not being careful, I just want to take the square out and then I'll trim it with some scissors. And now I'm looking at the pattern paper and saying, yep, I'm going to cut that down right away. And sometimes I forget, I don't do it right away. And what happens is you do the whole layout and then there's spots that you can't cut around because of all the embellishments so I decided to do it right away. I'm going to put some white gesso uh, right in the center of the page and I'm just using a palette knife. It's sort of a slanted palette knife and I really that's probably one of my favorite palette knives. Actually I went to an art store here and um, they were only a dollar a piece and I was like yes because the only place I could get them is when I would get um, five or six knives in the same package which yes it was six dollars so it was a dollar a knife but there was only really one palette knife that I liked. Now my light keeps flickering on and off because I forgot I had my heat on too which is just like a portable heater in my craft room because it gets kind of chilly in here and I was using my um, heat tool and it kept blowing uh, my power bar off so I went and turned off the heater and then I was able to finish um, drawing it up. So I'm using some black soot distress ink just to do all the edges of that pattern paper because once I cut it down to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters it was um, there was a little white edge on the side and I didn't want that. And um, I just wanted to put some gesso there so that it kind of pushed that pattern paper to the back a little bit. Plus, I wanted to use some of the products that came in the color add-on and they're Shimmers Paints. And if you've been following me for a little bit, I've been using a lot of Shimmers products. These are a little different. The other ones that I have, they're Creamies and Inklings and they're not wet. Like you have to add water for them to become wet. Now these ones here, they're paint, so they're already um, fully, you don't have to add water. They're like a paint, so you just stir them up and you use them. Now I didn't buy the embellishment add-on, but in the add-on it had the um, Crate Paper Shine Ephemera Pack, and in the main kit it was all chipboard stickers, so I found that what I did was I just brought in a couple of stuff, a couple of things from my stash. So where that's where I, I, I mean, everything is on my stash now, right? Like the kit's been in my scrap room for over a month. But where I only got the main kit, I figured that, and then the color add-on, but there wasn't a lot of stuff to layer. And I like layering. So I added a few things from my stash. I added the Crate Paper Shine die cuts. I brought in some rub-ons and a few other things which I shared in my kit share. Now I'm going to use the color add-on came with three paints. There is like um, aqua paint. It's called Tickle Me Turquoise. The yellow one is golden wheat and the pink one is can't read that. <laughs> I have glasses and I still can't read that. It starts with an... I can't even tell. Anyway, there's three colors. 
And yes, it sucks to get a little older. <laughs> Because you can't see stuff anymore, even with glasses. But anyway, it's the three that came um, in the color add-on. So if you're curious, you can go to Hip Kit Club and look in the December add-on, and she'll have it listed there. But this, you can uh, find all the Shimmers products, which they're awesome, at shimmerspaints.com. And um, they have a lot of different products, and they're awesome. And so I added some of that paint onto some packaging and I smooshed it onto the layout. Then I just took my paintbrush and made some paint splatters. And I kind of took a paper towel and kind of dabbed up a little bit of it because it was taking forever to dry. And um, I wanted to get, you know, keep moving. So now I'm using another product that is from Shimmers and they're called Dazzlers. And... Um, it's like a modeling paste and this one is a light pink it's it's absolutely gorgeous it's so pretty and it is called tutti fruity and then this is one of the templates from the crafters workshop that i got in uh, my last order from scrapbook generation and it just had like it has different random things on the template and it had circles like different sizes of circles and um, I'm just going to add the modeling paste to um, to that and I'm just going to clean everything off right away I'm trying to see if I can find the container for the template and I can tell you exactly what the template is Okay, so I stopped the recording and went to check. So the template is from the Crafters Workshop and it is called Impressions. And I absolutely love it. It just has different, like I said, textures right on the same template. And I added some of that Tutti Fruity Dazzlers. And basically it's like modeling paste, but it is shiny. And that's going to take a bit of time to dry up. So I'm going to start working on my photo cluster. So I've already mounted the photo onto some gray cardstock. And now I'm just going to use um, this pattern paper here from Studio Calico. And I'm going to put a little bit of a pink frame on it. And then I'm going to keep layering. And I thought maybe that I would use this part of the triangle on the layout. But I don't end up using it. Um, I could have put it in I think I just put it to the side and kind of forgot about it but I could have uh, used it I was thinking but see my modeling piece was still wet so I kind of put it there and then I put it off to the side and then kind of forgot about it but I'm, I'm okay with the way it turned out so the next thing I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the modeling piece to dry because I can uh, put on some rub on so this is some Maggie Holmes rub on from the open book collection and I found this in my stash and one of my resolute one of my goals this year I don't call them resolutions goals is to use more of my stash so you're going to see way more videos um you know using my stash and stuff now while I'm putting on the rub-ons I'm just kind of going around where I know I'm going to bring in the photo quite a few times make sure that I stay within where the um, you know so that you can see the rub-on that the photo is not going to hide it because then it's going to be wasted while I do that I'm just going to talk about a few things one is um, my YouTube channel I am going to revamp it um, I'm finding that uh, four videos a week is is a bit much with trying to get everything else done. And you know, when you when you've been with me for a while, you you think, well, you were doing a couple of videos a week or every two days before, yes, but I was using a kit, and I didn't have to spend time finding products. Like I was just whenever I had half an hour, and that's where it makes all the difference, right? When you have, when everything's all ready uh, and you only have a little bit of time, you can pump the layers out. But where I'm trying to do different things every day of the week, I haven't been able to, you know, get kits 
ready and stuff and I'm trying to get classes ready. So I think what I'm going to do, and I'd like your opinion on that, um, I'm thinking about taking away the Monday, the Mix It Up Monday, and just keeping Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for now. And uh, try that for a month and see how it goes. And then um, after January, kind of reevaluate and see how everything is going. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to be revamping. So from, for the next month, there won't be anything on Mondays. So there's going to be um, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Now, I'm going to talk about this layout. So every year, well, for the past three years, this will be the third year, at the beginning of January, I do a goals page and I go through what I want to accomplish that year. And then I've been doing a one little word, which I'm not taking the class. Um, I'm just, I just do a page about one word that I'm going to try to focus on for that year. And I keep that in the back of my mind all year. Now, two years ago, my word was breathe. <laughs> just, you know, just kind of take a breath and because there was a lot of stuff going on and I just needed to breathe. Last year, my word was energized because I was so, had no energy and um, I had to focus on getting back my energy, which, you know, I got my procedure done and it totally worked. I have way more energy than I did oh, a year ago. So that's awesome. So now this year I have quite a long list that I'd like to get done. And I was, you know, kind of thinking of different words and I even discussed it with a a girl that I work with and I'm like you know it's this is what a word that would encompass this and I was kind of like and she was you know back and forth her and I were thinking of words I even went on you know Google and tried to find words that would be uh, related to what I was thinking and and I kept saying to her you know she was saying a word and I'd say well I want a word that has more action into it. And she goes, what do you mean? Well, a verb, a, a word that would be more like a verb, <laughs> like that would mean to get it, to get her done, you know? And, um, so, and the word action kept coming up over and over and over again. So after a while I was just like, and then, um, if in the next, probably today or tomorrow, I'm going to add a video of my planners and when I opened up my uh, get to work book, in, at the beginning of each week, there's a place that it says actions for this week or something like that. Let me flip it open. Action items this week. And I thought, okay, this is a sign. My word is going to be action. And when I looked at all my goals, it was all stuff that needed to have some action. Um, you know, to, you know, to get 150 pages done this year, to start with 5,000 steps a day and to get to 10,000 steps, you need to get active for that, right? And, uh, get six classes done in 2016 and, um, climb a mountain, uh, decluttering one room per month. And like, I could go on and on and on. Like it's all stuff that needed action. So, I figured two years ago, I needed to take a breath. Last year, I had to get energy. And this year, I need to step up and get in, in, into action. <laughs> and it's funny because I was thinking every every time I, I think of it now, it's like, you know, like a superhero action figure. And it, I don't know, it just kind of makes me giggle every time I think of it. And then when, if you follow me on YouTube, you know that my new YouTube um, banner is on one side, it's uh, a little ambulance and it says 911. And then um, on the other side, it has um, a headset and it says the storyteller. And my banner says, uh, helping save lives by day and memories by night. And even when we came up, when I came up with that and my husband came up with the whole um, logo thing, I said, it, it, I was laughing. I was like, it kind of reminds me of a little action figure, you know? <laughs> um, so it, 
everything seems to be pointing to action. So that is going to be my word. And then after I decided the word and stuff, I went in, I went on um, Ali Edwards' uh, blog and I wanted to, because I'm still debating if I, if I want to take the class or not. I'm, because I don't know if I want to do a whole album about my word. But while I was there, I saw that she sells uh, words that you can put on your, your wall and then bracelets. And there's one called action. And I was like, and it's the first one. And I was like, oh my goodness. So even more um, confirmation that my word should be action. And uh, so I think I am going to order one of those words to put on my wall so I can look at it every time that I walk into my room. I don't know if I'll get the, um, the bracelet, but um, we will see. And uh, so anyway, so that's where I like to do my, the scrapbook layout right at the beginning of January. Not because it's a resolution or anything like that. It's because I want to keep that word in mind all of, you know, all of 2016, not just... Um, you know, if I, if I would do that in April, then, you know, one fourth of the year would be gone. So now I, I'm going to get back to the layout. So I added a bunch of rub-ons from the Maggie Holmes collection. I also grabbed some uh, ephemera from that Maggie Holmes shine collection. And again, it did come in the embellishment add-on, but I didn't have the embellishment add-on, but I happened to have the die cuts in my stash so I decided to pull it so that I would have elements or die you know die cuts to start my embellishment clusters and now I'm adding some rub-ons that these came in the main kit it is from Heidi Swap and they're just a bunch of they look like sequins and they're in the shape of circles hexagons and stars so what I'm doing is I cut them apart by color because I didn't want to risk putting the sheet on and more than one would go on the page and then when I put them back together I just put them back I stapled the rest of it to the the backing sheet and then I put the rest of what was left back sort of the right slot and staple them on the sheet so they won't get ruined and uh, so they're nice and secure and I won't wreck them so I'm just using the different colors in I think pink and teal and orange or yellow no a, a, a light pink a dark pink and that's it but just different shapes I use the stars the circles and then there's hexagons now I colored um, there was a package of alphas that came in the main kit and it's the DIY alphas that you can color yourself. So I used the paint and I colored it in the pink so that it would really stand out. And I'm just, you know, kind of taking the stars and all the different fake um, sequins and I'm putting them all around the layout. And then I used one of, in the die cut pack, there was a little um, clear transparent thing that said, live simply, dream big, and love. So I put that on one of, one of the pattern papers from the Shine Collection was sort of frames that you could cut out. So I found one that fitted pretty good and I just stapled it onto that at the top so that it could be hidden under my photo and I um, used put it right underneath my photo sorry I worked a night shift last night and I find that I get all like blah and um, yes that's the same photo that I use for my goals page and I did the same thing last year I am not a big very big selfie person <laughs> I don't know if you can tell I take basically I think one selfie a year and it's so that I can do these pages and um, I have to say, this is not one of my favorite selfie. <clears throat> it was after a night shift. So I had been up all night and I was wait waiting for my workers to, to go home. <laughs> so I was just kind of, um, there's a spot downstairs that we can wait. There, it has a little bench and I just like to get away uh, from all the craziness at shift change because you get people coming in, people leaving. And that's usually when... 
you know, people wake up. So we get an influx of calls. So it's, it's super crazy. And after being there all night, it's like, oh, you just need to get away from that craziness. So I like to go downstairs and just sort of make my brain sort of shut off so that I, when I get home, which we still have a 20 minute drive before I get home, but at least I sort of get into the mindset of going to bed. Now I grabbed my India ink and it's the Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay black ink. And I love that stuff. And I use a paintbrush at first and I made some splatters and then I take the little uh, eyedropper that's in it to make bigger ones. And then I went, oh yeah, there was also a chipboard sheet, chipboard sheet that came in the main kit. So I went and got some of those so that I could use it. And I just put it right and it fit there perfectly. And it was the right color. And it says, find what makes you happy. And then I love that little bird. So I'm going to put it um, right above the word action. And then the, the other one said 24 seven. So to me, the little bird, not that I need a reason, but it just like basically open your wings and fly, you know, fly into action kind of thing, 24 seven, and then find what makes you happy. Then I went into my stash and grabbed some um, enamel dots in two shades of pink. And I added that to the layout. And that's it. Here is a close up of all the embellishment clusters and also you can go see the close-ups on nicolejones911.com and that's another thing I want to do this year is make sure that I put all my layouts on there so that you can see the close-ups a little better and that's it so if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up to let YouTube know and thank you so much for watching bye